Welcome to attend Alibaba Cloud training. I'm Dean, a teacher from Alibaba Cloud Corporation. In this training, we will talk about how to operate and manage a cloud server. Here are the objectives of this course. After taking this course, you will learn how to get your own cloud server on Alibaba Cloud. You will learn how to manage this cloud server efficiently, how to deal common operational tasks you should also learn how to prevent problems that may arise from your cloud server. Here is the contents of this training. We will first talk about uh, the three reasons to embrace cloud server. Then we will move to how to provisioning a customized ECS instance. This is very simple. It only takes one minute to submit an instance creation job. Next, we will talk about how to manage ECS instance using ECS Web Console. In the final session, we will see how, uh, how to operate an ECS instance. Okay, first, let's talk about the three reasons to embrace Cloud Server. So, what is ECS? ECS is a key product of Alibaba Cloud. ECS is a computing service with flexible processing ca capacity. Compared to physical server, ECS can easily deploy and manage applications with better stability and high efficiency. Its flexibility can also lower overall IT cost, enable you to focus on key business innovations. Let's compare the physical server with ECS instance. When you use physical server, you need to first purchase the hardware and then find a data center for it. If VPN is needed, you also need to buy VPN service. You also need to pay for the hardware upgrade to meet your new business requirement after a period, after a period of use. To operate and manage the physical server, uh, you need to uh, hire professional operational engineers. These tasks require a lot of time and money. It may cause your application release delay if any unexpected issue in this list occur. With ECS, it will change the way to set up a server which fits almost all the requirements you can imagine. What you just need to do is register an uh, uh, Alibaba Cloud account and one click to provisioning your server. Operate and manage for this server can be done uh, easily through the Web UI console, even for a junior engineer. ECS also provides security features to protect your server from any attack. So yes, ECS is a better option than physical server. Next, let's look at more details about ECS features and why you should use ECS rather than physical server. Easily deploy and manage is definitely the first reason to choose ECS. Alibaba Cloud provides a web UI console to manage your ECS instance. For example, you can provision a new cloud server by a few clicks. You can easily change the server type, such as CPU, memory, uh, network bound wise to upgrade your server by a few clicks too. With ECS, no, opera no operational is needed anymore. Almost all maintenance and daily operations uh, for cloud server can be done from the console. You just need to log in to the console and choose the operation you need and submit. Then that's it. Everything is done for you. Another thing is the support policy. Alibaba Cloud provides uh, 7 days, 24 hours support. You can get professional support at any time you need it. Another reason to choose ECS instance is the better stability and high efficiency. Let's take a look at some failure case and how ECS deals differently from the traditional server. If server failure occur, since ECS uh, use virtualized server cluster is able to make migrate to another available server automatically. For disk failure in your traditional server case, 
if you don't set up disk backup, it may cause data loss and not be able to recover. ECS use distributed file system with three redundant copies for all data. You don't need to consider data backup by yourself. Traditional server may also encounter server room power outage situation. For ECS, Alibaba Cloud has set up the power redundancy backup for all the ECS server. ECS is also enabled the basic uh, DDoS protection by default, for instance, and the important thing is that it's free. ECS instance provides a 99.5% service availability and a 99% uh, almost 100% data re reliability. It definitely provides better stability and high efficiency than traditional server. The last reason is the cost. The fo following table gives a rough uh, evaluation about the cost for ECS instance at the traditional IDC. For example, according to the application and workload requirement, you need a server which have 8 core CPU, 24 gigabyte memory, and, IT and 1 terabyte hard disk. First about the hardware cost, ECS cost is uh, about uh, 3,900 uh, per year. Uh, three uh, three thousand ninety uh, hundred dollars per year. Sorry, for traditional IDC, one time program, one time uh, programment for the package is about three thousand dollars. Let's assume uh, hardware is depreciated by five years, so the annual cost is about six hundred dollars. About a uh, server room trusteeship, no extra cost is needed for ECS because this is covered by service provider. Traditional IDC needs about uh, uh, $1,200. About bandwidth, network bandwidth, let's assume 5 megabyte is needed. The cost for ECS is uh, $157. For traditional IDC, it's much higher than the ECS. For operational engineer, uh, cost today uh, monthly salary of a junior operational engineer is at least eight hundred dollars consider the social insurance uh, the cost for the company should be about uh, one thousand dollars assume the current project will occupy the ten percent workload of this engineer the cost should be uh, one thousand and two hundred per year in ECS case ECS provides a web UI console for you to perform the most common uh, operational tasks easily. So no operational engineer is needed. After a quick math, the total cost for ECS is uh, $4,150. Well, the cost for traditional IDC is $6,600. You can see the cost is significantly reduced if using ECS. Okay, let's uh, do a quick re re recap about this chapter. Uh, Elastic Compute Service is a computing service uh, with flexible processing capacity. Compared to physical server, it has uh, a lot of advantage. So ECS can easily deploy and manage applications with better stability and high efficiency. Its flexibility can also lower overall IT cost, enable you to focus on key business innovation. Okay, that's all for this chapter. Uh, thank you very much for watching. See you later.